Oh, hello there. Did you get our distress call? Our leader is Sir Thurston Plunkett. But he's disappeared. He went missing even before the crustaceans attacked. We found this place the long way by sailing our airship across the spiral in an attempt to reach ancient Lost Celestia. Our airship is on the surface, and we've been building air-filled domes so we can explore the sunken ruins. Plunkett believes that if we restore the Grand Astromaid, we can learn the Celestian schools of magic, stars, moon, and sun. The missing artifacts that power it are stored in the three astral galleries, the Stellarium, Lunarium, and Solarium. I sense in you great power. You are not with the expedition or with Morgant's invaders. The Celestian Wardens have long held the line against the Morgantine invaders. Even the sea could not quench our fire. When the Dark Queen of the Shadow Web came to Celestia to learn our magic, she was sent away by our wizards. She returned to take it, and our army met hers on the field of battle. We were undone by an unreliable ally, the Storm Titan. The Storm Titan pulled Celestia beneath the waves, ending the war and hiding Celestia from the spiral for once and all. Eons later, we are still locked in a war we cannot win. Two warring planets orbiting an ever-burning sun. I sense that you wish to learn the secret of Celestian magic, and that you have been proven worthy. So good of you to aid these crustaceans, poor souls. They're not much when it comes to empire building, but they do try. Still, though, a darker power is at work, greater than any threat this world has seen. I fear that Morganth has returned. Before the Cataclysm, she was refused Celestia's magic, but now I fear we have inadvertently opened the door to her. We haven't much time! She must be stopped before she claims the secrets of astral magic and seizes control of the spiral. What's the matter? You'd be thinking you could come into my place of business and hustle me? Come and get some of this! I should have known Ambrose was too much a coward to face me himself. But I would have never suspected he would send a child. I have crossed the seas of centuries to claim what is rightfully mine. Turned this... Ridiculous crab empire against itself. <laughs> you cannot keep Celestia's magic from me. Now destroy this little wizard, my pet. Big Salgio drops the Son of Celestia when he falls. You have now recovered the final astral artifact. <laughs> this is not over, wizard. It has only begun. The mirror will break, the horn will call. From the shadows I strike, and the skies will fall. <laughs> the greatest explorer I've ever met. That great door has remained closed since we got here. We were unable to breach it until you opened the Celestian schools. Now it is open. We found some reference to the door in old Celestian lore, where it was called the Trial of the Spears. 
If you wish to embark on the greatest challenge of your life, enter the trial of the spears and test yourself. Though my home was beyond the stars, I have dwelt in this place for time out of mind, serving and waiting. I will not surrender the secrets of Celestia's magic willingly. The skies of the spiral shine with many stars, but my light is the brightest you will face. The teleporter opens. Now you can face the trial of the moon. You are not as charming as you imagine yourself. Consider that.
teleporter opens, now you can face the trial of the sun. The clouds shall part only when blades and traps are present. and Celestia are right out of legend! Thank you ever so much again for your assistance to the Spiral Geographic Society and to my friend Thurston. Still, though, I must confess that the reappearance of Queen Morgant has me in a bit of a fright. It's certain that she plans no good thing for the Spiral. We must always be on our guard against her! <laughs> <laughs> 